Hi! Hi! <laughs> like usual, I'm running a little bit last minute. Are you live now? Oui! Oh! Okay! Hi, Hi Joe! <laughs> so, hi everyone! So, are you. Okay, I. I put you on the Facebook group. We're just trying to get set up before we get started. So, thank you for joining for people that are watching it after. Just okay. want to make sure it's working. People are doing. Yeah, awesome. So hi everyone. So I'm Madeleine. I'm having a glass of champagne. You're doing What are you having? And I'm having a Caesar in a nice <laughs> wine glass. Uh, a big wine glass. So we so thank you first, thank you for joining. It's going to be a lot of fun. We did those party um, during COVID for the first time. So and it was a lot of fun and I had a bunch of people requesting another one. Because we got so busy and you know, I don't know. There's not a whole lot to do right now, right? <laughs> so just have fun and watch us tonight and it might give you some ideas on what to do at home. <laughs> so for people that doesn't know me, I'm Madame Cassie. I'm the um, I'm the founder of Sparkle Lifestyle in Medipa. And I would like to officially present Isabelle. She just joined her team what a week week and a half ago. A week and a half ago. And I thought that the perfect way to uh, to learn about some of our services and products. Have you have you been to a party before? Nope. This Never. is my first and I can't wait. <laughs> so I'm, I'm assuming that most of you know what we're going to talk about. Um, if you have no idea, well, it's pretty much like a Tupperware party, but like much, way more fun. <laughs> much more interesting. <laughs> yeah. So um, how everything gonna uh, work tonight? I'm going to start talking about product more but to set yourself in the mood, then we'll go into a massage product, and then I'm going to talk about a uh, lubricant, and um, I'm, we'll be finishing everything with the toys. And that's usually the part that nobody listens to me at all, they just laugh. <laughs> but it's, it's usually I do those party in people's house, right? Yeah. But yeah, we're trying to be creative here. So just to let you know that you can ask any question that you may have in the comment section. Um, Ashley is... Hi, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. So <laughs> Ashley will be there to either answer you or at least forward the question to me. So Ashley, if you're watching, I forgot to bring my phone, so you'll have to send it to Isabel. <laughs> so we have an Isabel phone here, so we will be able to see and um, if you guys asking any question, same thing. If you have like, um, the, I added the link to um, to go shop. Uh, I think it's below this video or somewhere around it. I'm not sure. But then you can go there, and the code is valid now, and it give it's giving you twenty five percent off um, the entire website. So you can shop on whatever you want there, and we will also throw a twenty five dollars towards any um, retail item at. Uh, at Sparkle, so and that's yeah. good for 24 hours, right? Yes, yes, okay. until tomorrow. Yeah, 24 hours tomorrow night. Right. Perfect. Yes. So happy shopping. Um, and yeah. So uh, yeah. So we're gonna start right away with product to sit in the moon a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she had like no idea about what it is. No. So I'm going to because I'm just doing it by myself. I find it a little bit awkward. So I like to have someone that just wants to know. So. And um, yeah, so cheers. Cheers. Comment, comment in the section what you're drinking. I want to know. I'm having champagne. Happy holidays, everyone, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I hope that everybody's doing great, having fun, and um, yeah, that we make the best of, you know, it was a, it was a tough year. An interesting year. Yes, interesting. Interesting, <laughs> positive. <laughs> The first product that I'm going to present is made by Shanga. Shanga is actually come from Montreal. It's a Canadian company, and they have um, they specialize in product for that central product. But they they're all like perfect for down there. So if you have tendency to do yeast infection and you can put anything in your back for down it. there, yeah, down there, that, like yeah. yeah. But you know, like, you know, no, but a lot of people <laughs> they can't put anything in their back. Yeah, you know, they get like yeast infection. Yeah. So this product's pretty nice. So smell it. Ooh, smell nice and no it. infection. No, like that. not up, nothing. That's, that's a plus. And it turns through water uh, blue, like really blue. It's nice. And there's it's full of Epsom salt, Dead Sea salt. 
and you know essential oils so just to relax. If you have like a excited kids, you just put them there. And relax. Oh geez, I need that. Oh yeah, you do. Oh yeah, I need that. <laughs> you can you can use it too. Yes. I <laughs> really popular I mean if you've been to a party like this one before like so really popular usually I put it in a glass of water oh I can do that oh, I know it's a brand new one I'm sorry I thought it was my kids not okay so the next one this one here it's a shanga massage powder so if you like doing massages but you don't like the oily texture of an oil okay mm -hmm. you can use this powder and it's going to be messy it comes with that little feather and clearly I didn't you know um, it's not when you buy it, it's, it's not as dirty. Right. <laughs> it's just mine, you know? So then it doesn't stain your sheets <laughs> no, or anything. Exactly. No, it's nice. So, see, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it like on <gasps> you. Ooh. And then like rub. See, it slide. Oh, yes. Yeah. Much better than oil. Yeah, it's not. Seriously, yeah. it slides really well. Very and soft. Um, And the main reason why I sell it, it absorbs moisture really well. You know, like between boobs and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Boob sweat. <laughs> With the boob sweat. Boob sweat. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just to show you how it works. I'm gonna put some on water here, and like I know I'm missing. Nobody likes boob sweat. Uh -huh. So, so what I've done here, I added the powder on the top of glass of on the water, and I want you to put your finger in it, like in. Yeah, in it. And show it. See, show your finger. Oh wow, that's okay. cool. Okay, and then like your fingers stay dry. Oh yeah. And see. Then, and then you can lick it off. I can really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this tastes good. It folds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, so it tastes good. So see? It's like raspberry. Yeah. So I'm not sure which one is that. I think it's raspberry. Yeah. So yeah, it's perfect to do massage, boob sweat. Wow, I like yeah. a dress. And even like summertime, you know, if your sheet get like all moist. Yeah, so moist when you wake up in the middle of the night, you're all sweaty. Yeah. yeah. Or like wedding dresses. I know it's not really the like wedding season, but <laughs> if you're getting married, it's nice. That's perfect. Yeah. So that one. Then um, I'm going to talk about some product that I like. I'll go with massage oil here, okay? It's made by Hemp Seed, okay? It's uh, completely, I mean, vegan. You could pretty much drink it. There's no toxin. But if you're looking for a massage oil that will doesn't get sticky, that's just really nice, that absorbs, and it's actually a really, really good moisturizer, um, yeah, it's a good oil, so just try it out. You'll see how it's, it's not greasy, just like moisturizing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. it smells good. And yeah. you also, you can use it in your bath if you're looking for just good like bath oil and stuff. Yeah. So that's a really good massage oil. It smells good. Yeah. And I have like the version that's edible. So if you're looking for a good massage oil that doesn't get sticky, but you can taste it. This one is um, cherry. This one is cherry. Just be mindful that there's um, almond oil in it. So if you're allergic to almond, just don't get that product. <laughs> just, you know, little tips could it, there. It could end up not so good. Yes, it kills the mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and what else I want to talk about? I have like so much stuff. I'm usually, you know, since it was last minute, I'm like a little bit did not organize here. <laughs> so here, um, we have two kits um, from Shanga. And they have like little samples. So you have a little bit of lubricant, massage oil. Um, this one is, a, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about some of the product, but you have like a sample of everything. It's still made by that brand here. And um, let's go here. And uh, this one here is a popular. This one, I wish I would have the sample. It's a bat of, uh, bat of love. And it turns your the bat water into like a jelly. Oh. Yes. But it's actually relaxing. It's not like jelly, like Jello. It's like <laughs> it's like jelly, like little beads of jelly. Yeah. So it's almost like do like a massage when you move around, and it's it's cool. And then what do you think you do when you're done? You just scoop it up. Well, oh, shovel it up. Rinse off. I don't know. Get in the shower. Yeah. It comes with a second uh, like a pack, and then it dissolves back into. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so what does that do? What it just yeah. It just like like the other one. It smells good. It's just okay. relaxing and okay. For me, it's a kid. Uh, I mean, I like it, but the kids love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't though, right? stain because like the, there's a Crayola that's a version, but the Crayola one stain your bat. This oh, one yeah. Stain. We don't want stained bat. <laughs> no, no. Nope. We don't want that. More work for us mamas. Yes. Um, okay. So I was looking for a massage. I wanted to, oh, I wanted to talk about this product here. Oh. Uh, Kushi. 
No. Gucci you green. Wear your Gucci. Have you heard about this? <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. <laughs> because uh, yeah, so here at the clinic for people that know um, Sparkle, we do laser hair removal, and a lot of people have ingrown hair, and a lot of like shaver bomb. You know when you shave? Oh yes. Itch. I can. I will guarantee a hundred and twenty percent. This product, if you shave with it, mm -hmm. it will not give razor bum or itchiness or anything when it grows ingrown back. Hairs. Ingr well, the ingrown. Yeah, yeah the in the, yeah, the ingrown things need. You need to be well moisturized, which it will do. Yeah. But you still need to exfoliate, which this doesn't do. So you need to look into an exfoliant. Uh, we have a couple, and they will be on their website if you're looking for a good exfoliant. But the solution for laser hair, for ingrown, is laser hair removal. For sure. Yes. yes. But I really like this product, like especially for yeah, shaving like the itchiness and like yeah. um, itchy skin. Some guy will even like it for shaving in general. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I can see. And that will last you like forever. Like a big pot. Like a it's big a pot. pot. Oh. Yes. And they come in smaller ones too, yes. right? I yeah. just didn't take it out. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> okay. Then I'm going to talk about um, lubricant. And there's different type of lubricant. And I'm going, like, I've been doing this. Did you know I've been doing this for, I thought I was I thought 18. you told me. I was 18 when I started doing it, and I'm 35. So that's a long time. <laughs> <laughs> she knows her stuff. I've been doing it for a long time. And seriously, like, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of, you know, product that comes and goes. But this one here would be, I seriously, my uh, most recommended lubricant. Like, a water-based lubricant, it's really important. Some people don't realize that they need a lubricant. But even if you think you don't need it, it really helps. It will help for ease infection and it will protect your toys and it makes just everything more comfortable because it's a good way of like um, improving your natural like moisture. I mean, we moisturize our face or body, but sometimes we forget that we should take care of that area. Um, so that's why um, lubricant is really important. So anal, vaginal, like everywhere you need to have a lubricant. And especially with toys, because with toys, maybe you may not realize, but on your toys, you have like micro tear on it. And then you have like all the bacteria that will just get stuck in the toy, even if you, even if you think you wash it. So it's really important to have lubricant so they will last longer. So um, the basic lubricant would be a water base. And the big difference between uh, maybe this lubricant and what you would get at the bookstore would be like a water based lubricant will dry off. Like it's, it needs to, that's, mm -hmm. that's <laughs> but water. Uh, yeah, it's water, it with water, like it will dry off. You don't, <laughs> so. but the thing is when it dries off, it doesn't get sticky, lumpy, like gross. Yeah. You know, and that's the beauty of a water-based lubricant. So if you're having um, a toy, you need to have a water-based lubricant. It can be silicone because the silicone can actually destroy the plastic. Mm -hmm. um, so here I have a silicone. So why would you need a silicone? Silicone is probably, the type of lubricant that I would recommend the most. This one here is the one that our gynecologist here, we have like three gynecologists that work at Sparkle and, and even like a, a pelvic floor physiotherapist and that's the one that she sent people to. Okay. Um, it's not just silicone, there's like tons of good ingredient. But the thing is with uh, silicone, it will last really long. It will just not um, get dry. So if you're looking for something that lasts long, um, really good, um, and it doesn't dissolve in water. So if you have like shower sex, for example, it's oh, perfect. Yes. But just be careful because if you drop that on the floor of your oh, shower, yeah. like slippery slide. Shower sex is tricky. Yeah, it can be tough. <laughs> yes, that will be like if you come to another level. Right? So uh, just be mindful. You don't need a whole lot. Um, when you're using it and uh, yeah don't use it um, I mean this one here is latex safe but it's not all the silicone uh, lubricant that you should be uh, using it with uh, silicone so just be mindful of that this one here we also suggest using it on a daily basis that would be a good if you have like um, a lot of these infection vaginal dryness um, this one would be a good um, a good option does it smell? That no, nothing. I have this one. Oh, I didn't bring it. Okay. We have the that's an old one. It's like, <laughs> yeah, okay, you, can, a new one, yeah you, can't, one you can't see it, but I'm like, yeah, don't. Uh, it's not good anymore. Yeah, uh, yeah. Then we have pina colada, uh, cher uh, lemonade, pink lemonade. Uh, I think that's the two flavor we have, and then we just have the basic, basic one. Question so far? No, I'm no. Okay. I'm so, getting educated. educated. <laughs> awesome. Oh, we also have, well, since we are in the the intimate area, we also have the shaver. That's the one that we recommend here when you 
get laser hair removal. And um, if you don't want like those razor bumps and it actually helps in groans like, because it gives you that little length. So that's, that's something that you'll find on the website. I've only been here for a week and I've heard good stuff about this. Yeah, I've heard so. Yes. It's a really intimate one. Okay, um, I feel like there's some stuff that are missing that I want to talk about, but... They're in the, probably in the box. I'm sure that... Anyway, if there's anything that you want me to like um, talk about, feel free to send a private message and Ashley will let me know. You should check out <laughs> in case that... Okay, so we'll start talking about... Uh, oh, the massage candle. Oh, we had like a little massage candle. I don't know. I can't find it. It's not there. So it's, um, it's a candle. It, you you light it up. You wait about like twenty minutes. It smells really really good, and then you can use the wax to do it. Oh yes, massage. I've seen but, this before. Yeah, but they don't yeah. they don't burn. You know, yeah, just like. And does it turn waxy after? No, no. no. Okay. It's just like it's like an oil. Okay. Yeah, it's really like moisturizing. So now I'm gonna jump into the sensation collection. Have you tried like any kind of like click cream or stuff like that? I uh, no. No. No, I know someone who would love me for me to try it. <laughs> try that. So, okay, we'll, we'll talk about that section. I mean, we have like tons of different ones and that's where sometimes it would be totally worth for you guys at home to just maybe send us a message just to make sure that you get the right one. Um, but th those are designed to increase blood flow and sensitivity. That's pretty much what they do. And sometimes you can have some ingredient that, I don't want to call it like numbing ingredient, but ingredient that will maybe, like I like to call it like, you know when you like squeeze a hose, you, you build a pressure, and then you know when you let it go, there's more pressure. <laughs> so that's another way of those product works. So depending on what you're looking for, you know. So the first one I'm going to talk about are the Tickle Her Pink. I would say that they're the most popular one. And the Tickle Her Pink, it's designed to increase sensitivity. So an example, like maybe you're not really in the mood or maybe you have a hard time reaching all right so <laughs> <laughs> i got it see i don't know but i'm sure i'm not alone here guys oh, no. you know that's your number one you're not alone because that's your number one salary like if you're just yeah more sensitive you just want to put because when you, you just need to put a little bit you can put it inside the vagina and on your clitoris and just incre increase sensitivity and blood flow and you know kind of get things like i mean like it doesn't it doesn't fix a bad marriage, but no. so I'm like, you know. <laughs> Helps your sexual drive. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. You like, <laughs> need to be, no, we need to be realistic here. Yeah. <laughs> <Like, laughs> not a psychiatrist. <laughs> like, so, uh, yeah, so that's Pickle Her Pink. Uh, it's the number one seller. That's the one that we're in the most. And the, the other one is a Like a Virgin. Uh, this one here, it's more like a tightener. So maybe you don't have, like, Problem. You just want to be more intense, or maybe you're trying to explore the G-spot area. You just, you know, and um, that would be a, a good option. This one here, <coughs> I would say that those are two most popular. Um, then, uh, if you go on the website, you'll find like Shanga have one specially designed for the G-spot. So it would be under the Shanga collection, Sensation also, and we have a couple for men actually. Um, Actually, the cap. So this one here is called the uh, Max Arousing Gel. Um, it's um, yeah, it's designed for men. Um, I actually I did enjoy it myself. Uh, where guy in general like the the t the minty feeling. It's like cold a little bit, but not mm -hmm. too much. That's yeah. usually what men like. Where women we like the warm, warm. a little bit more. <laughs> uh, but this one here would be kind of warm. So I did enjoy it myself. Um, and then, yeah, like it was just nice for both versus versus this one here that I'm not saying that it was uh, not good. It's a Shanga Dragon where this one is more like kind of minty-ish and that's one that would l slightly numb a little bit your partner and then when you do have an orgasm, it's more powerful. But then if you have a hard time coming yourself, I found like this one will numb the partner too. So just be careful, but it works really, really well. It's just that it's maybe not something that you would get for like a quickie or something like that. <laughs> you know, that's my feedback. A long session. <laughs> yeah, like you need to have that. But I mean, for some people, it's perfect. I mean, if it's too quick, like it's, you know, <laughs> I just, oh, everybody's different, right? And, uh, and that's why I'm going to come back to that little kit there. 
uh, from Shanga and when you open it like there's there's lubricant in it there is a little bit of like the the well, you know, that arousing gel there's just like a thought what's in it okay I'll, I'll tell you there's a purse there's a personal lubricant there's a clit enhancing gel there's the warming and cooling sensation cream we have the g-spot arousing cream and a little like 10 speed vibrator so that's perfect yeah it's, it's like, like a weekend one. one it's yeah. like a little oh yeah weekend yeah. getaway yeah. kit and oh. then like if you just you want to do like a yearly kit we have <laughs> like the, the big size right <laughs> So yeah, and this one here you have like full size. Oh my oh. god! Oops. This one here you have a full size of your massage oil, um, the massage cream, the oral. It's something for oral sex. It tastes good, um, and then like the arousing cream. So there's a bunch of product in this one here. I thought there's something else though. I'm sure. Anyway, if you go on the website, it's all there. Um, Oh, there was something else I wanted to show. I'll, I'll grab that later. Something I wanted to show. Okay, so that was kind of for that specific part. So far, question? No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> listening. I'm taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, somebody's gonna want me to spend money because I don't think. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next one actually, it's still in the sensation department. I keep yeah. forgetting about this one and. This is something that I actually keep buying and rebuying and I love it and I think everybody should get it. It's called a nipple nibbler. Are you into like nipple stuff? Mm, not, not good. I'm not good. <laughs> so uh, at all. But this is the best lip gloss ever. Try it out. Lip like a on like my lips? Lip on your lips. Like on my lips. Yeah. Try it on your lips. Oh. That's mine. It's nice, huh? Oh, yes. So, you know how um, that plumping, like um, the plumping uh, lip balm that you, mm -hmm. you get for like what, 40 bucks or something? Mm -hmm. um, I find it's way better. It just seals my lip. It's just like nourish. It's really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it tastes really, it tastes, really, really good. It tastes good. Hold on, I think it's a strawberry one. But yeah, yeah definitely. Nipple nibbler, like I said, like maybe you just remove the sticker and put it in your purse. So what does it do for your nipples? For nipples, uh, again, it's like <laughs> mental. Yeah, I know, I'm like. Right? I know, I'm it sorry. works for lips. It's just like, it's it such do? a good lip gloss that I almost forget why, like, they even designed this one. Um, it, there's a little bit of mental into it. So. Mental? Mental, mental, mental. Like a mint, mint? Mint. Mint, mint. Like mint. Mint, mental, <laughs> mental, mint. I'm mean, sorry. You know? <laughs> But it's not, it means it's the men, menthol, it's that ingredient, menthol. Menthol, yeah, menthol. Like a, like a minty kind of? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Two French people here. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that, that's kind of, it tingles, that's what makes that tingling sensation. And so it makes your nipple hard and increase the blood flow into it. Yeah, because my lips are like, yeah. not like tingly, but like kind of. Yeah, like, just, it brings a blood yeah. flow. And that's why you have like that plumping effect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, no need for lip injection. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I like it. Seriously, it's really popular. We, like it's just a pop right in. I think it's like 15 bucks or something. So it's really worth it. And that going to last you Yeah, that lasts you for like oh, years. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, I forgot to bring like the moisturizer. Yeah, I, oh, that, oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot to just bring all the like, we have like amazing body cream and stuff like that. But I mean, people are here for the toys anyway, so you can see that. You can also find it on the website. Yes, so exactly. Whatever that's not here, because there was oh way my God, more. We couldn't fit it all. No, there was no, way too I'm much. Even that, that's a lot. Yeah. There's so much stuff. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to talk about, we'll talk about like oral stuff or like tasty stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so um, the first one I'm going to talk about is a uh, good head and I think I just mentioned that I've been doing this for what like 15 years yeah a little bit more you're a little yeah. bit older than that okay. but we'll go with that oh. <laughs> uh, okay yeah so this is called good head it's a blowjob gel okay okay and that was a product I was selling back then and it was popular and it's still popular so how does it work so it's a tube and picture this as a penis <laughs> You just that's a small oh, piece. Yes, <laughs> you just put a little bit on it and do that too. Okay. You'll feel it. Because they can't feel it at home, they need to like hurt. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to put too much, just a little bit. Do you feel like it's I know it's warm in here, but do you feel like the cold a little bit yes. on your finger? Yeah, you can feel like the cold, okay? And then see how it's like kinda of glides, so it's you know, like for to do like a hand job and play yeah, and it's yes, nice, yeah. whatever. Okay. And then you you know, you put it in your mouth, so it tastes good. 
Oh yes, tastes good. So the warm of your mouth, it's like it's like doing a blowjob with ice cube. Oh yeah, very minty. Without the mess. So and then it's minty. Not, not too minty. No, just, 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 just a little, little bit. Yeah. So when you're done, you have a fresh breath. Yes. Ready to kiss your significant other. <laughs> no, it's really bad, but it's nice. They have the one that have like five different flavors, which is great. But if you're looking for the one that will do it, like um, that um, like tingling sensation, like the mint one is the best one. Very good. Oops, I agree. I like it. Yeah. And there's different, yeah, like I said, there's other flavor, but the mint one is the best one. Well, cheers. Mint with clamato. It's perfect. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Oh, okay. The next one. We're gonna. Oh yeah, this one here. Oh, chocolate, chocolate body paint. That could good. be fun. That's fun. That could be way. You fun. can like follow the readers. Oh, and like dirty words. <laughs> yeah. So what I like about it is already melted, so you don't need to put it in the microwave and burn a new one. And uh, I'm just making sure that, just in case it's expired, you know. That, that's like her sample kit, the yes. real star. Yes, it's, it's not, not a sire. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, it's my, it's, yeah, it's my kit, right? right? I just need to be, and I haven't done like a real party since March, so right. I don't want to like I'm gonna kill you. You just started. Uh, that's okay. Kit. I can hit my sister with hand, but if it comes. <laughs> okay, there it is. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing it's chocolate. You I can know. lick it all over. I know. Worst case, just put on an ice cream. Yeah, really though, right? <laughs> Not Here, <true>. kids. Yeah. <laughs> fancy chocolate. It's really good chocolate. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. 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 It's, it's made by Shanga. Um, so it's a, it's a good quality chocolate. It's not just like the cheap. No. Stuff. No. No, it's really good. It's not, it's not the dollar store chocolate. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to uh, talk about, I don't have any game here in front of me um but i do have the dice uh sometimes the dice are fun you just like dice two dice oh, okay but yeah so you uh you just roll the dice and um you do what they say so example like kiss a nipple or fuck in the closet like it's you know gets you in the mood yes. yeah just the little challenges um this one here um actually i like this one i have this one i like it um, it's on the website, so it, there's different one on the website. You'll find this one here is we we've never, but we will. So there's three different categories, and it's all about like opening the discussion because I get that question a lot from people that maybe want to try things but they don't know how to introduce it. And I found like those little card game can be just a lot of fun, just with your partner going like over the cards and you know talking about it. An example like. I don't know, would you ever try a specific thing? And then like, you know, like you'll say yes and no. And just sometimes it's just not easy to, you know, have that discussion and it can be awkward. And, you know, like sometimes, I, sometimes I do that. I just I'll pick like a card and like pick the card I want. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, but you know, so yeah. And it's like, if, yeah, if you're just trying to find like quick little thing to kind of open discussion and learn about your partner and you know get out of your comfort zone a little bit like I really enjoy the cards like that and there's my alarm to put my PJ on or something onesie time yeah we can yeah. <laughs> cancel this <laughs> Madame good event yeah see you. let's just go and there we go awesome thank you Bye -bye. And yeah, so that's why I like the card game. They have different ones. Even this one is like, um, yeah, this one would be more, um, uh, well, you know, scenario and stuff. So, anyway. so there's a couple, depending on, we always have like different on the website. It's just I like it for that. I mean, the board game, there's some board game too, but I mean. The How whole, far are you going to yeah, get the, the board whole point game without like, finish their board right. game? <laughs> I mean, Go with something quick, Yeah, right? if you're like quick that, to the point. Yeah, exactly. right. so, I, I, so that's why I'm a more a fan of little card game and stuff. So let's start like in more like, you know, get in the mood and little thing here. Um, okay, so for the next section, we're going to talk about toys and that fun stuff. So the first thing you need to know <coughs> is that toys should... Um, all, you, you, yeah, you should always have lubricant with your toys. It will make the toy last longer. I think Ashley is talking to me, but I can't open it. Ashley, if you see this, can you text? No? Okay. Yeah, Ashley, if you see this, text um, 
Wait, I'll text Isabelle because I can't, I can't get to my phone. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, so uh, you should have lubricant for all your toys. Also, how to clean your toys properly. Um, if your toy is completely waterproof and silicone based, technically soap and water will do the trick. But if there's still a little bit of uh, soap on your toys, that means and they these infection, and you don't want that. And that's where like having like a, a toy cleaner is really beneficial. Like I like this one because it's completely natural. You just spray your toys, you wait 30 seconds and they're good to go. It's like enzymes, you know, enzymes, sorry, that will eat the bacteria versus like chemical that, mm. you know. You don't want chemicals in your coochie. No, you don't no. want that. <laughs> so that's why I really like this specific um, toy cleaner. It's nice. Um, and then when it comes to batteries, um, Use cheap batteries. Don't have like the heavy duty, um, no, okay. <laughs> uh, the heavy duty camera. Like just get like really cheap battery. Like the battery that you get like a container for like really cheap. Oh, okay. ah! <laughs> Thanks, Ash. You're so cute. We love you. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so that's that's it. Oh, also like you know like your toys should always be stored like. Indiv individually yeah individually yeah, like not like by themselves yeah, yeah not like on top of each other like an example of that like if you have two different type of plastic they can actually react together you can like like bubbles and stuff so really important to keep them separate remove your batteries um all the toys that we have here at sparkle are have been kind of approved by Ghani holder so we make sure that they're like good quality silicone base. We don't have a whole lot of toy that are um, just latex or plastic base or it's just like we try to have them really safe and we try to have them like, I, I don't like to call a toy waterproof because you can't just leave it in your pool forever. It doesn't work <laughs> that way. But at least that you know there's splash proof yeah. at least for at least to clean it because if your toys are not waterproof or splash proof like it's really hard to clean it properly. So we're going to start with that. This is the best part. The fun stuff. <laughs> okay. So uh, do you have at least an egg? Do I have one? Yeah. Uh, head? Had one. So head. you need a new one. Like, <laughs> like didn't everybody so, start with yeah, yeah, the exactly. egg? So like the, it's a yeah, thing, right? Yeah, the egg. Especially is like, when I'm you're just, younger, it's like the, <laughs> the beginner. Yeah, the beginner exactly. Toy. So, I mean, the basic egg, that I'm trying to, I have my bag here. Um, would just be like your typical like bullet with like the remote control. We all had that. It was silver. Yes. Yeah, Sil <laughs> the silver. The silver bullet. <laughs> I can't. I don't think I have one actually. I, there's tons on the website, but I don't even think I have one in my kit. So it would just be like a. I mean, that's. Oh, I think I saw one. I mean, that's a fancy one. Okay, that's a really fancy one where you have that bullet and it's attached to a remote control. Yeah. It's still still silicone, but. The old one um, was not silicone, it was just like a plastic. Mm -hmm. And I I would say that it's okay, but just be, try to, if you have one, just look at the, at the <coughs> end. At the end, you have COVID? No, no COVID. <laughs> no COVID. My throat gets dry sometimes. No, no. no. Yeah. <laughs> I know so, nowadays, right? So here um, at the end, do you see that little piece of plastic there? You yeah. probably don't see that there, but yeah. that means that the, the toy would be splash proof or waterproof. Oh, okay. If not, you would kind of see inside and it's really important. So that would be one thing to look for your eggs. So make sure that you have that seal uh, egg. If it's not sealed, uh, you cannot use it like internally. And it would be okay. really, really hard to clean. Well, back in the day, my silver bullet was yes, probably the cheapest I, on the market. Yeah, I'm assuming so. <laughs> So uh, we still have those. They're just like I'm saying that their life expectancy. <laughs> they don't last long. They broke fast. Uh, and then you can have like you know like fancier version like this one. Or now they came up with like a great alternative. Um, like something like I think I thought I saw it. Wow, oh my God. Um, it's just, okay. Like I mean, this is this would be like a bullet, but it's the the remote is here, so it's still like considered like a bullet, but. Um, Oh, you know, it's a big bullet. Wait, it's a big bullet. Yeah. But it's a, you know, it's a good bullet. <laughs> good bullet. Uh, oh I, uh, I'm trying to look at What's the, this one? What, this one? Oh, that's a, a, a wireless one. <gasps> There's Wire, a wireless. Everybody yeah. likes wireless everything now. So look at this. Yes. You that, see? Yeah, so I think yeah. it's like what, up to like 
50 feet or so. Oh, cool. my old eyes. I don't know. Is that what it is? Yeah. 10 meters. 10 meters. That's yeah. 10 meters. 32.75 feet. Oh, 33 go. feet. Yeah. That's pretty good. And this is my personal favorite. What it, is it? It, it looks like lipstick. It, yeah, exactly. It's a lip. It looked like a lipstick, but... Oh it's my god, a USB stick! USB <laughs> stick! So, you know, you, put, you can put your dirty little secret Oh on my! It. That's awesome! It's nice, huh? Yeah. Hey, no one would tell. Like, you can put that in your purse, yeah. and like, just hope that nobody opens it yeah. thinking it's lipstick. Talking about lipstick, that's another one. Wow. What does that do? It vibrates. In your, in your coochie? Yeah, like, what? Touch it. Yeah, but what do you put in? Like, oh, put on the top? Okay, the okay, I gotcha. You know, tease, you know? Like, if you're not in the mood, you'll get, right. you'll get in the mood. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, yeah, it looked like it looked like, it looks like a lipstick. lipstick. It looked like a lipstick. It comes in a little cap, too. See? Oh, my God, almost. So, yeah, you can put that in your purse. No one will. On your lunch break? There you go. <laughs> I won't do it here, I promise. <laughs> I promise you won't do it. Have I'm in the bathroom too long. Yeah. She might come get me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So uh, yeah. So that would be. Oh, like, that's a that's another type of bullet that you'll find. Like just it's a bullet, but just there's no remote and stuff. So like that. Okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, yeah. So that would be. It. Then we'll go into. So oh yeah, we'll talk. About the okay. Stuff. Okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this one here, it's still like small. I mean, you can, if you look at it, you can still use it as a bullet. There's a good grip to it. It vibrates. I think the battery, yeah, you can feel the vibration. Oh, yeah. Decent. Yeah. And there's a little bit of uh, on your clitoris there. Does that vibrate too? No. It's just oh, like a... Oh, well. It's just from the... Yeah, it's because the oh, entire okay. thing vibrates. So this okay. one here. This gotcha. one's really popular. If you're looking for something that would be a fancy bullet, I would probably... You could not really to... Maybe you, maybe you don't need a big vibrator or something. You're just looking for a good, I don't know, jack of all trade, master of none. <laughs> like that happy middle. Yeah, I yeah. think it's cool. Um, okay, let's stop it. So that would be one. Then if you're looking for a good toy, sorry, that will reach G-Spot. Do you know how to get G-Spot? And a lot of people are wondering about that, G-Spot. Yeah, sure. I do, but I only learned that later. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's something that's not easy to find or not obvious for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say that having a toy will definitely help. Because to be able to find your G-spot, you need to be first really aroused. Okay, um, And if you're looking for it and you're stressed about it, like it will not happen. Um, and everybody have one. Uh, it's just about like an inch and a half, two inches in my like, head. <clears throat> How do you say that inferior part of your? Oh, you know, like on the inside. Yeah, like like like, like, a, like this. <laughs> is this? Yeah, and it, this one like reached the exact because it would stop here, so it have like that perfect curve to it, and it vibrates. And usually when you get to your G spot, um, if you're not aroused enough or you're not ready or something, it feel like you need to pee, and it can feel a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Be happy you're at the right spot, but you're just <laughs> not there yet. And that's where like a vibration is really good. So you can kind of use it to massage yourself and just relax. And it's really hard for your partner to find your G-spot if you don't know it yourself. Uh, because it's, you know, it's just not that easy. I mean, when you're really aroused, you can actually feel the difference in the tissue over there. But it's not that obvious. So I would say that a toy is definitely like a, a good way of finding it and but you need to kind of find yourself or you need to be mindful of your body i would say mm -hmm. uh, other <clears throat> tip for g-spot you need to have a strong pelvic floor to be able to have an orgasm in that area so if you're not able to contract your muscles it's really hard to have a vaginal orgasm so that's where like uh, having something like the uh, benoit balls like a kickle there um, you know those like beads. I don't know if you can see it. That's oh, on Fifty Shades. Is yeah. that what she had yes. at supper time? Yes, on Fifty that's Shades. Yes, oh, yes, exactly. So yeah, that's exactly what the, oh what she has. So those are the Lila yeah. one. They're probably one of my favorite. And um, the satisfier on the website are also super great. You want something that actually is heavy. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So we don't get lost up there. No. Like, you relax. You shake a little bit of the belt. <laughs> and if they, if if they 
don't fall or they stick they stay there like i mean you don't need it probably <laughs> but usually that's the whole point yeah. because kegel exercise you need to put them in and you need to be able to contract your muscle to to do like um, kegel a muscle so you're able to contract the pelvic floor and that's the best way to have a vaginal orgasm with the there's tons of different ways so those one there are just your typical they're kind of heavy but what's yeah, nice they're yeah they're heavy but they also have like that movement in them yeah, so it's like a yeah and yeah i don't know if they can hear yeah can you hear my like, <laughs> here they can hear that for sure <laughs> and uh, but yeah you don't shake like that no <laughs> unless you're having a workout or something i don't know uh, but yeah but that movement that's in it will actually stimulate your own lubrification so it will stimulate your i mean it it helps you stronger pelvic floor you have it helps your natural lubrification just better orgasm which is awesome it's just for your health in general like kegel exercise they're recommended after pregnancy just as you're getting older like it's just no, will that help like when you sneeze and oh my yourself? god yes oh us Yes. Older so, people or mothers, <laughs> you know, you sneeze, you pee. Yeah. <laughs> so they always recommend to like, you know, strengthen your muscle or when yeah. you pee, you can stop. But if you're just looking for something that will strengthen your pelvic floor, it definitely help for stress incontinence. But I would say light stress incontinence. Yeah. It should be part of like a, you know, a routine at all age. I mean, if you get to like, a, a, sometimes even that doesn't work. Like it's just too loose or something. That's why I would definitely recommend like a, um, well, you know, a, a physio, a, a pelvic floor. Well, yeah, wait a minute. What we do here? No, but oh. yes, but the <laughs> the wait well, yeah, a physiotherapist. A physiotherapist. Physiotherapist that are specialized in pelvic. I don't know. I'm sorry, it's late or something. I'm getting tired. It here. is late. Yeah, it's been it's a long day. Yeah, <laughs> we had a long day. It's true. <laughs> um, yeah, so you those people will really help. And then we also hear if it's past that or if the problem is actually in the quality of your tissue, that's where we can help. A sparkle, yeah. Be yes, because the the laser that we have here will help to strengthen the tissue, but it doesn't attack the muscle. Right. So even with the laser treatment that a lot of our clients get, it's amazing. But um, you still need to strengthen your pelvic floor, the, the muscle. No, oh, okay. no, perfect. Um, yeah, so that would be for Kegel exercise. We have tons of different ones. We have some that vibrate, some that doesn't, some that are really heavy, some some that actually like you can change the, you can change the weight. There's just like tons of different model there. And actually, one that I really enjoy, and I think it's really really cool. Um, I don't have it here. It's a it's one that will actually like um you you need to like it, it will vibrate you need to contract mm -hmm. and it just it kind of does that workout for you okay it's like a yeah yeah it just it yeah it does the workout you just put it on and, yeah that yeah. might be better than sitting in your car yeah. and trying to remember to do yeah your yeah exercise. exactly it's it just kind of vibrate and then you, you react so that's <laughs> i that's kind of cool and then again like it's 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 nice right like it's just fun and you know turns you on a little bit and you know you're happy to go home at night See? Why not? Why not? All right. So yeah, so that be um, my recommendation. And then, um, okay, so we'll keep on going with the toy. Um, I don't know which one I'm going to talk about next. And there's a lot. There's and a that's lot. only oh. like a little oh, bit. Yes, I, I had three boxes to go through <laughs> and I picked a little bit because I was like, what is this? There's so many. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about, uh, this one is not charged, so I can't show, I don't think it's is it charged? No, it's not. Oh. So this one here, um, those would be kind of the rabbit vibrator. Okay. Um, some people get confused. Okay, what's a vibrator? What's a dildo? What's a different? You know? Uh, no clue. No clue. I difference. call them all dildos. Oh, okay. All of them. So a dildo would be something that first look like a penis. Okay. Okay. Shape like a penis. Yes, it just okay. have that shape. Okay. And they usually they will not vibrate. Okay. They will be like a just a straight dildo. Okay. Okay. Um, so as soon as they start vibrating, you call it a vibrator. Okay. Well, so that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. technically, this would be a dildo. It doesn't yeah. do anything. It doesn't look like a penis to me. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it has like that shape. Oh, right. Like you know. You might hit your G spot maybe. Yeah, that's a good G spot right. one. Yeah, second yes. right because it has that curve. Yeah, the curve. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be considered a dildo. Uh, I don't know. It's not something I. I don't like <laughs> the look of a dildo. It just doesn't fit the brand, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, those are the, uh, the Lilo, the brand Lilo, I really like them. So that's a dildo, that's a vibrator. So that's a big difference. Um, and then, you know, how do they work, okay? So there's tons of different ones, but 
this part here, the small part, mm -hmm. would be for the clitoris. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can have different level of vibrators. Some um, will only have the internal part. Some will, you know, like vibration, no vibration, the movement, like side, you know, like sing a song. Like there's so many ways. <laughs> sing a song. You know. Is that really a thing? <laughs> oh. It can't be. Uh, you know, well, yeah. You can have something that's remote. Uh, remote control, control on your, uh, on your phone, and yeah, then it, it, it vibrate like okay. following the beats. I mean, yeah. you can, you know. It's not the same as it was 20 or oh, 30 years no, ago. No, it's not. Things yeah. have evolved. <laughs> Seriously. So here would be probably what I consider like the Cadillac when it comes to a vibrator. It's made by Lilo, and I think it's like close to 300 bucks, if it's okay. not more. Um, but what's $300 for the great player? <laughs> Yeah, it's true. But it's a fancy one. But then it's guaranteed for life. Yeah. Yeah. So if something breaks, like you, you get a new one. Nice. So uh, completely rechargeable, waterproof. Uh, this one here have uh, it does the movement like of the G spot there, like up and down and like that little curvy thing. But mine, I'm sorry, the battery. I didn't think about charging mine. Uh, and this and this one breaks. There's two motors, mm -hmm. one here, one there. And okay. So that would be kind of like the top, like really top nice, of the line. Top of the line. Cadillac. Cadillac. Gotcha. And then you have like other model that. You know, that would be like this one, for example, like still rechargeable, still have both ways, but just, a, you know, they're maybe not guaranteed for life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But still, like, I mean, there's no, there's nothing that you'll find on our website that's not good quality. Good quality. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. just that I found like when I started <laughs> 15 years ago, um, silicone was just expensive. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was just, it was just like expensive brand. Now they're able to do really decent toys that are still silicone that you don't need to splurge that much that still work well. Um, yes. Oh, 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 yeah. Do you have oh. Sex in the City? Yes, so I have the, seen the Sex rabbit, in the City. The yeah. rabbit? Okay, so this is Jack Rabbit, okay? <laughs> but like the 2020 model. Nice. <laughs> because I don't know if you remember, it had like beads and it was like turning yes. around and all that. Okay, so that's like, the, that's a classic, but it, I mean, it was not silicone and that didn't last. It was not aging well. Okay. <laughs> so uh, this one here does pretty much what it does. So same thing, like um, again, see uh, rechargeable, waterproof. It have the two dual motor. It does move a little bit. And uh, yeah, so, so that's, that's a classic. <laughs> Again, there's ton on the website that's completely. It can be overwhelming for, I know. for people who do not know much about vibrators. <laughs> yeah. So So what? you want to you need to when you're shopping for one, you need to really look at what are you trying to achieve. For you need to realize are you single? Are you looking for something to use with your partner? Are you just trying to have the quickest orgasm possible? Or you're trying to explore yourself? Are you more like like my first question is always like, are you more into like clit stimulation? And a lot of people will say yes, mm -hmm. but then, okay, it's great, but you want to try something else. Mm -hmm. And let's say that you're maybe you are into clit, you're looking for something that you can use by yourself, but you would be open to opening some, like open to learn about, well, learn about new things. I would suggest that you're getting some, with something like that, but make sure that they have like a dual motor. Okay. Like so, that one. Yeah, like that so, one. Or, I mean, most of them, to be honest, like this one too. Okay. Uh, where just make sure that you can use it like with this one by itself. So you can, okay. you know what I mean? At least. Yeah. Because what the problem is, especially if you're trying to um, to learn about your G-spot, um, the vibration on your clit will always take over. Okay. So you, it will be really, really hard for you to really like work at it and try to learn if you always have that clit stimulator and that's why like um i like to have the one that have dual motors especially for if you're just looking for something by yourself and then if you're looking with a partner usually something that you would use either to just kind of the teasing part or something that you could use during oral sex and right. um, so then like you know this can be in the way so maybe if you have something that's more flexible so it's just think about what you like, what you want to explore, what you want to, and again, um, I can talk about this forever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just send me a message and I'll be more than happy to guide you um, with it, right? Um, and then um, in, in terms of vibrator, have you heard about the suction one? Uh, no. So yeah, so that's kind of, I mean, it's not new now, but it's new in the industry, I would say. Um, in the last, two, three years, oh, they, yeah. yeah, they came up with a, a different bunch of vibrator, but instead of just having like your typical vibration, there's suction going on into them. I don't know if they can How see does it that there. work? So um, like, I'm assuming hole. it's probably, yeah, it's probably dead. Oh, but, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You could have done that. 
that today. For I, don't, I didn't even know they have like that. You have to jerk these like. Yes. Uh, so this one here, I have like um, like it, there's a little bit of suction. Looks like a penguin. Yeah. Oh, it is a penguin. <laughs> It is. That's the name of it, the penguin. And um, it there's a little bit of suction and vibration, and it's not too much suction. It's just a little bit. And then the the way to try it out would be just to put your tongue, the thumb there. You would feel the, oh, the just okay. a little bit. So it's not like not like a vacuum right. there. Yeah, it's not a vacuum, <laughs> but it's really really nice. Again, improve their blood flow. Um, yeah. If you're looking for interesting, like, I yeah. never knew. Yeah, and again, like that was kind of like it, the first one was called the womanizer. Oh, yeah. a womanizer. The womanizer. That was, I remember that kind of changed industry there, but now like there's like different brand and I really like this one. So this one here have the, just a G spot plus the clit stimulator. Very cool. Never knew. No. I learned a lot. Good. Good. Do you uh, massage her? The one? Oh, uh, never seen. No. Never seen that? Okay. Nope. So this one here is by Lilo. So that would be kind of like a really fancy version. There's other one on the website that are, that's great. And we, oh, we have the big, oh, we forgot to do that. <laughs> I'm good. I have some stuff maybe to show there. Um, yeah. So the, the one would be like really your, your most powerful devices for my client that are like super clit, like all about clitoris, but they, they need a lot of vibration. And the wand would be your go-to. And uh, you can even have the version that plug in the wall. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so this, so that doesn't go in there. You can do it. Like, it's a <laughs> massage. It's been designed originally for as a massager. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. But then someone somewhere realized that it was it nice. It could be used for something else. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So that's kind of where it comes from. It's a wand. It was supposed to be a massager. But now you can get the wand and you can have attachment to it. Oh, my. But they're just known to be really powerful. And they're usually shaped so you can get to your back. Um, but yeah, so really good for. But it's usually more for cl clitoral, unless you have the attachment that would go mm -hmm. inside. Yes, so that would be your one. Uh, and then, um, do you know what to do with this? Oh. What to do with this? Uh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so that's a double strap on. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yes. Huh? So that part would go in a female. Yes. And yeah, so it would be like a yeah, a yeah. strap, a strap, yeah, yeah. strap one. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's stuff like that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. All kinds. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else can I show you that, that exists there? Oh, there's lots of things. Oh yes. yes. Oh yeah. So those oh, are that. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. what I was like. Okay. Hey, yes. The one. The one. The picture. Yeah. Okay. No clue. So I would. Okay, I have a partner. Um, and I would say that it's probably my favorite one. Okay. okay. How does that, yeah, how because does that work? what I like it, and especially this one, I think it's the WeVibe United. Like there's different model. I know it's obviously it's the most expensive one, right? It's always like that. Um, but this one here, you can shape it the way you want, like like this one, or you know, you can move it. So what I like about it, it's pretty much like a fancy bullet. Okay, you can use it just as an egg. Okay, okay. just hold it. Mm -hmm. But it comes with uh, the remote control is somewhere. There, there's a little. Anyway, there's a remote control, but like mine, I never find it. But you can like control mine. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you can yes. control it with your phone. Oh boy! And my partner live far away, and that's like a you can use it. Oh your my way. god! So yeah, so you have a long distance <laughs> relation. And it's like you know. Fixing on a brand new level. It's really That's nice. That's hilarious. It's cool. I'm not going to go in her phone. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's a really uh, cool one. I mean, you can use it as a bullet, but the whole point of a Wee Vibe though, it's a couple vibrator. So again, picture this at the entrance of a vagina. That part goes inside against your G spot, mm -hmm. and that goes like outside on your clitoris. Okay. And and you can use the toy toy while you're having sex. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Like, like it would go like, like, yes, yeah. his penis would go. Okay. Like, yeah. All right. All right. Uh -huh. So it vibrate for him and it's like more pressure on your G spot and you know, everybody's happy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can have both. Yes. Yeah. And you know, it can be used also like as a cock ring or something like that. But yeah, no, I really recommend it. I love it. I mean, there's different versions. So a lot of people will ask, okay, what, why is this one over like the cheaper one? And that for me, the biggest difference was really, um, like the this one, I can I can shape it the way I want. Okay, and yeah. we all have different vagina, 
and uh, to have it tighter or looser or whatever, depending on the position, to be able to kind of position... Is it stiff or is it kind of... I don't know. Mm -hmm. You feel like it's... Yeah. You know what I mean? Versus like the other one, like there's one version that's more stiff and the other one that's more like... Wobbly. Uh, okay, look at this one. That would be like the version that... You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's more wobbly. Yeah, it's like, it's not yeah. as stable. So in some position, I feel like that one... That I mean, is... It might s slip out. No? Yes, in yeah. some oh, yeah, okay. in some ways, like, <laughs> yeah, it does. Versus this one, I just like it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that that would be the big difference. But yeah, I definitely recommend this one. And I'm just warning you that you need to use lubricant the first time. Well, like always, but more the first time. And I would say that the first three times that you're going to use it, it's going to be awkward. Yeah. Because it's just like not sure what to do and where to go and like it's just like, like I, it could I, ruin the mood at first. Yeah. So just say like, you know you need to at at first. Right. Start with like laughing about it. I'm just yeah. warning you, but once you get comfortable to it, like it's really, really nice. I love it. Yeah, yeah that answers my question when I was holding it. And I yeah. go, what is this? And she said, I'm not telling you. <laughs> she likes to make me yeah. ponder yeah. on things and come up with my own sort of conclusions. Um, quickly, I'm going to talk about the anal toys. Oh. Okay? <laughs> and you need to know that they always ha need to have some kind of stopper because yeah, there's yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah, stop, right? Yeah. You need to have a stopper, it's really important. <laughs> and uh, make sure that you use a lot of lubricant, okay? A lot of it, and it needs to feel good. There's no pressure, it's full of blood vessel there. It can be really arousing, a lot of fun, nice to explore. But just do it safely with good lubricant and you know relax something like that is a really um good vibrator for it for it because it's you know it's small you know it's not it small yes. and then, then, then you, you can kinda... ma massage the area i like this also for um for people that have like vaginis where they have like a, a like it's an involuntary, oh, involuntary. contraction of your uh, vagina muscles okay um just to relax everything so it have like a or like extreme like dryness or something like that. Like those are good vibrator for like those. We also have dil dilatate. Oh my god, dilatators. Dilator. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh um, yeah. I think you know what she means. Yes, yeah, so I think. Yeah. So they're just like you know things that you would use tools that we have. I mean, we we use them with the gynecologist depending on some uh, vaginal health. Um, so that's something that we're really strong with. So if you need any help in that department, we have tons of different options for you guys. And um, quickly, I wanted to talk about like the cock ring. It's a toy. It's a nice toy for for you and your partner. So this one goes um, around the penis to vibrate, and then when he does have an orgasm, it's more powerful. Oh wow! And it vibrates. It's fun. It's just like cool little like. Maybe I things. don't want to introduce that. It's bad enough. Fun. <laughs> so yeah, so one um and then um oh yeah the kinky stuff. Oh, okay. oh yeah, she said, can you get this tape? Tape. tape. Yeah, it's tape. tape. Yeah, what? you know, tape. It's like Fifty Shades of okay, Grey. So give me your like. Like. Yes. So like. so so it's tape and it's uh let's see touch it. There's like nothing. Right? Oh, yeah, there's a, it's not even sticky, yeah, see? It's sticky. Let's see, I have like, what, do I need to like, take my another, shower now? Another, oh my god. Take my shower now. This girl lives on reminders. Yeah, and then it's I don't follow good, them. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. There we go. Okay. Oh, so, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's very nice and smooth. Yeah, you don't feel it. And then like, okay. and then I would sit here. Oh, tie me up, baby. <laughs> so, okay. take your teeth. No, you just need to pull. No. Oh, all right. That's it. I'll see you Monday. I'll see you Monday. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Well, we know how some people love this. Yeah. Stuff, so this would definitely so, yeah. be it's nice. a good solution. No, like I'm really stuck. With it. <laughs> like I'm sure I can wiggle my way out. <laughs> all right. What kind of boss is she, right? <laughs> so in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Trump people uh, like you in a corner. It's cool, huh? That's great. Yeah, it's really it's really soft yeah. on both sides. So. It doesn't cut. And yeah, I know it's really nice. Yeah. Oops. So Here. that's a nice way of introducing things. It doesn't hurt or anything. Uh, and then you have like your typical like cuff here. 
um, they come with the, the fur. Um, the fur made the, the, the handcuff more comfortable. Uh, you can remove it and you have like the one. No. Um, so yeah, so handcuff, I mean, tape is nice. Handcuff can be used different ways. It's all about, it's all about, I would say, feeling and sensation and all that. Where you have it with fur, it's nice and comfortable, but when you're having like the, the one with the metal, like it's... There's a little bit of pain there. You know oh, yeah, I mean? for people who like the... Yeah, it just... You like it rough a bit? Yeah, and... Totally. So, yeah, and then, you know, if you lose the key... It comes with, like, you need the key <laughs> to open it and everything. There's always a safety mechanism there. But yeah, so that's... Uh, those are... But they're, like, nice and sturdy. They're nice. And that would be that. And what else? I thought... Oh, yes. Can you, like, entertain them, like, two seconds there? Like, I don't know, sing a song or... Sing a song! Well, all of you who know me know that I don't like, that I can sing. And I, sorry, I love to sing, but I can't sing. So yeah, I don't know what to say. Is everyone ready for Christmas? Yes? No? I feel like I'm totally talking to myself. Are everyone's kids ready for Christmas? Elf on the Shelf happening in some of your houses? Because it ain't in mine. <laughs> okay, she's back. Is that a song? No, I was talking about Elf on the Shelf. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh I'm sorry I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so talking about like kinky, kinky thing. Oh, Fifty Shades? Yeah. I'm and all actually, about Fifty have, Shades movie. I have like a flogger here. Oh, yes. And uh, how to use a flogger is the same thing. Like the kinky thing is all about the different type of sensation. It's not necessarily about like hurting hurting people and oh, I wish I could I, this don't one's open. not open. Yeah, don't open. Yeah, I can't open it. <laughs> but um it's all about like the letter is actually like really soft and then when you whip it doesn't hurt that much like when you have the right one. Um so it's not like yeah they're all done well. Do you know what I mean? So it's you know it doesn't hurt. It's no it doesn't hurt and I wish I had like a I had one at, I'm sorry. So yeah like you would just like kinda Use it and just kind of with the letter, it's really oh, soft. Oh, you know? that feels <laughs> So just think <laughs> cool. And then like the, the slap of it, like the, the letter, like it, it, it doesn't, doesn't sting. Yeah, it it's doesn't not sting. like a, it's it's not not like like a, a belt or like a yeah. towel or something. It's just like, it's just like a, it make a lot of noise and that kind of trick your brain, but the pain, it's not really painful. And I, I know like sometimes it can scare some people, but it's, it's not when it, it's, it's different sensation and it doesn't like, what we have here at Sparkle is not like crazy, kinky, like cross the woods. Shades, it's like Christian Grey. <laughs> you know I mean, stuff. it's just like, but it, but the kinky is all about that, right? And this is like this one here. It's actually I, I just wanted to talk about this because it's a kit that the it's a company Fifty Shades of Grey. They have like toys, but they they come they, they come with this oh, wow. kit every every year, and it's like um it's like a you know an advent calendar. Yep. So you get the box. Wow, that's pretty fancy. Yeah, and there's like Ooh. ten. So this one, okay, this one only seven. has six, but there's like different, different one, and this one has six. And seven. you open the box, seven? Yes, yeah, oh, seven. Okay. A week, a week. Of <laughs> so in every one, you can have like different uh, things. So. Uh, oh, this could be like a good New Year's yes. kind of present. Yeah. So I think it's kind of cool. You know, massage oil, candle. It had the little like restraint kit and all that. So it's. Kind of like if you want yeah. to introduce, you know, new things. Slowly. Like, yeah. That one. Slowly. And we, <laughs> and we do have a bunch of different options there on the website. But uh, yeah, it's all about, you know, trying new things. So that's an option. And I, I will finish tonight with talking about toys for men. Just quickly. Uh -huh. Something. And I will talk about the thing that I think there were, well, I'm, I, I got a good review from it. Okay. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, it's actually designed for men. It's a it's a masturbation cream. Okay. Okay. So it be for them. It's designed for men. It lasts long. It's really nice and really hydrating. A woman can use it too. Okay. But it's just like a nice and I I really like it. It's it's a is it that it's not. Oh. But anyway, it's it's more like creamy, lasts long, really good. If you're dry, work well. Um, now, if you put that on, can you have intercourse? Yes, after? totally. Okay. Oh, yeah. All their products are completely pH balanced, designed for it. If, if we should not, but if you have a reaction, like reach out because everything is supposed to be like pH balanced, designed for it to go down there. No problem. Yes. 
Um, so this is really popular. Then I wanted to talk about something um, that I, I have a couple questions sometimes. Is there like a toy that would work well for a guy and girl? Mm -hmm. And usually toy that will focus on prostate. Okay, it's, it's a man. I don't know if it's not it. So it would be, and I like this. This one would be more anal. Um, I don't have the one that I was talking about. But see, something that would be curved like that because they're good for men because the prostate on men is the sensitive spot mm -hmm. and then on a woman we have the g-spot so right. a lot of time you can have it uh, you can use it for both you know you can you know go in restaurant and you can because <laughs> this one is actually yeah yes, you can, sir. Mm -hmm. so little yeah. toys like that i found those are nice little toy that can be used for both partners and um i um i will talk about this one and actually it's huge it's crazy but i got good feedback oh boy whoa what's that it's a masturbator master look at even the box is yeah, amazing just, oh can you even see it oh do you want to get closer well i don't know you can't like and then oh there you go yeah you can see it there you can see oh, it there oh wow and yeah. you open this part here and it's like a bucket pussy type of deal oh and <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, and um, it feels like the real deal. And you can even adjust like the the suction on it. Oh wow! You can make it tighter or. Better. And, and you've got good feedback yes, on this. Yes, yes, I can. It's like I would say that it's in in terms of man toy, it's probably the number one sellers, because it's really really good. Yes. So who needs a woman when you have that? You use it with your woman. Okay. You can use it like for way, or I mean like. I don't know, this is relationship. Right? Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Like, it's just that or... But it's it's fun to use toys with your partner. Yeah. It's really... It's a lot of fun. And, you know, it just changes things Spice a little it up. Bit. Yes, yes. Really, just... Yeah. Okay. So that would be one. And uh, I would say that the Wii Vibe, too. It's a really popular toy. That, that one here. That would be my recommendation mm -hmm. for a couple... And, uh, and yeah, and I mean, I could go on and on and on and going about talk about like everything <laughs> that's available, but I think we kind of need because it gets overwhelming really fast, right? So, um, yeah, so I would say that it's what I talked about was probably the one that we sell the most, that I have the mm -hmm. best feedback on. I think things that are worth your investment, you know, I didn't talk about this stuff that I don't believe in. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of that, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that would be. That would be kind of my presentation for tonight. Excellent. I learned a lot. I hope you did too, and I'm sure you did. Yeah. If not, well, then maybe you should be doing this here. Yeah, so I hope you learned. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment sec section, or you can reach out uh, privately. I will answer any question. Um, I put the link. Um, so you can go see all the products online. I Last time I checked the website was a little bit uh, wobbly there. I don't know if it's a lot of traffic or what's going on, but I, I hope that's going well. If you have any trouble, um, Ashley's not far and I will be there shortly also. So yeah, so let me know. That's good. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, sometimes I do, if you're interested in having a party like this one for yourself, I've done that too during COVID. It's their most popular. Usually we go to people's house, but during COVID, we've been doing them online. So it's been a lot of fun. I think she did a great job. Oh, thank you. And I'm well educated now. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, so have a good evening. Um, happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays. I'm, for I'm sure. sure you'll see my face popping in your feed again. For sparkle, <laughs> for sparkle and everything moments. else. Yeah, we yeah. sparkle offers lots of good products. So mm -hmm. make sure you check out the website. So sure. have a good night. Happy holidays. Bye. See you later.